Me, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get to the rumors. Let's talk Kevin McCall. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Well, things got very testy during a podcast that Kevin McCall was on, the Craig Smith's podcast. He got into an argument with one of the hosts, uh, Brandon, and this is about Kevin McCall putting his hands on a woman. Here's what he said. I did hit her because she hit me. You feel what I'm saying? Which is not cool. I understand. And I've even beat up niggas over this. So if you want to fade over this, if you feel like I shouldn't hit women, catch a fade outside, bro. Right. So don't don't sit here right here and act like you think I'm some weird ass, bro. I don't. Shut the fuck up, my So if you got a problem, if you think I hit women like I told Eva Brothers, catch a fade, my Alright, let's chill out. Let's chill out, Kev. Oh, that that the energy on that interview changed quickly. Yeah, that escalated and What's wrong with them telling him not to hit a woman? I'm confused. Like, why is that a bad thing to say? And why was he so upset over it? He's the one that said he did put his hands on her. Well, we always say it. If you interview somebody and you say something that they might not like or they might not agree, you just never know what their response is. And he responded with violence. <laughs> yeah, I got to hear the context. I haven't heard. I, I, I just heard it's that too, snippet. It's too, you know, I, I don't know, but. They did take a break from filming, and then he did re- uh, return later, and they did discuss off camera the whole ordeal. Oh, so they didn't right, discuss well, that during the podcast? No, they didn't discuss that whole altercation. Mm. What's the name the of the podcast? podcast? By the way, what podcast was that? I just said it was the The Craig Smith's podcast. The Craig Smith, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, now Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade are launching their skincare line for kids of color. It's called Proudly. It features diaper products and it'll be released um, direct to consumer this year and will then expand next year. So they said in a joint statement, as we continue to work on new endeavors together, our goal is to always center our work around being the change we want to see while championing diversity, equity and inclusion. So they do have a range of products that caters to the unique skincare needs of children of color that are so often overlooked in the mass market. All right, so you guys can look for that. Also, Culture Creators is going to be honoring Swiss Beats and D-Nice at the 5th Annual Innovators and Leaders Awards Brunch in partnership with YouTube. So that should be a fun thing. Um, that's all sponsored by Ciroc, by Ciroc and Procter & Gamble, Coin Cloud, Lexus, and Ellis ILT Company. And drop on the clues bombs for Culture Creators. Who else they, uh, they honoring this year? I like Culture Creators. It's a great event. Yes, I actually got honored by them just recently, too, along with a lot of women that I also admire so much. But, um, you know, that, so that should be good. My girl Ricky Hughes is being honored this year as well. Ricky, I saw, uh, I saw Carrie Champion, too. Carrie Champion is being honored by Culture Creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did this whole Empower Her uh, campaign. No, nah, it's a dope brunch. I, I, I got honored by them a few years ago as well. Salute to, salute to everybody over at Culture Creators. Nice. And my girl Joy. Okay, T Pain is responding to all of the controversy around the auto tune. Remember, he talked about what Usher said to him while he mm-hmm. was on the This Is Pop Netflix series. Here's what he said, just to flash back to that. He was like, "Man, I want to tell you something, man." He sounded real concerned. He was like, "Man, you kind of, kind of up music." I didn't understand. Usher was my friend. He was like, "Nah, man, you really like you really up music for real singers." Literally at that point. I couldn't listen. Is he right? Did I did I f this up? Did I f up music? And I don't, I don't even think I I realized this for a long time. That's the very moment that started like a four year depression for me. All right, well, a lot of people were rallying around T-Pain, wondering why Usher would say something like that. And T-Pain took to social media to let people know, I still love and respect Usher. Telling that story was in no way meant to disrespect that man. People talk ish about me 24-7, but when it comes from someone you truly respect, it hits very different. I never said F Ush. It was a drop in the ocean of ish I was already going through. And for the people going back 48 weeks to dig up a tweet, please find something to do. That was before Shorty said anything, and the song never came out after I got the information I needed. Leave me out of the stand combo things. So hey, I don't know. you know what's crazy is mm-hmm. people slandered Usher, but social media don't act like y'all didn't treat T T Pain the same way for a while. Okay, everybody's you know appreciating T Pain now and showing T Pain love, but they were on that same wave at one point. Everybody was. You know absolutely. what I mean? Like, don't act like that. Act like Usher. Right. Act, like act like Usher was the only, only one. And on ESPN's first take, Stephen A. Smith talked about a text that he got during the show that focused on Ben Simmons' work ethic since he's been with the 76ers. And he said the source is someone very, very close to the situation in Philly. Here's what he said. 
I just received a text from somebody very, very close to the situation in Philadelphia about Ben Simmons. This is a quote. This is not me. This is them. Quote, he doesn't work. He doesn't listen. And everyone around him is family. And he's constantly babied. Ben Simmons is either going to be depressed for the next four years he is. or he's going to work on his game over the summer and come back and be an all-star next season. There's really no in-between. Right. Like, there's really – when you're in the position that Ben Simmons is right now, there's really no in-between. You're either going to listen to all the criticism, internalize it, and, you know, go into a shell somewhere, or you're going to listen to all the criticism, don't internalize it, go out there, work on your game, and bust everybody ass and prove people wrong next year. One of the two. All right, Corday has announced his new record label is called High Level, and to promote that, here's what he said. High Level is, is way more than just a brand, a record label, or a movement. It's a way of life. If you in school right now, try and get it done, grinding, try and pass the next grade, you high level. If you work a minimum wage job that you hate, but you pushing through it to support your dreams or just to stay alive, you high level. I like it. I like right. that. I like well, that mentality. That, that high level mentality. That is your rumor report. Regardless right. of what you're doing, you do it at a high level. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, shout out to Revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, the People's Choice Mix is up next. Get your request in. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 